Hi guys, uh, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Just going to do a quick video on the resistor. What is a resistor? What does a resistor do? Right, well, this is a resistor. Um, it's a two-leaded passive device used in electronic circuits to control and regulate the flow of current through the circuit. Um, there are a few types of fixed type resistors. Um, this one is a carbon composite. Um, these are pretty old these days. Not, not used a lot, um, but very popular with guitar amps and, and hi-fi actually. Uh, they're pretty much bomb proof. So that's why a lot of train industry people use these resistors because they're crazy strong. They do have a tendency to drift um, in their resistance, but they sound pretty cool, quite warm. And then you've got ones like this, which is a carbon film resistor. Um, they have better tolerances. Um, I like the tone of the carbon resistor over a metal film resistor, which is one of these. The tolerance on these are very good. Uh, they sound a bit bright. So there we go, we've got carbon composite. It's a bit sticky there. Carbon film, metal film. Metal oxide, very good, kind of stable, uh, keeps its resistance very well under kind of extreme conditions as well. And then you've got a film, high accuracy, high tolerance, not as bomb proof as say the carbon composite, but they sound pretty awesome. So there you go, there's the five types of leaded resistors. Um, to illustrate what um, the resistor does, we're going to move over to the kitchen and use the old water flow analogy. So step this way. Okay, so we're now in the kitchen. The, have you got the fly swat in? <laughs> Don't put the, because that is awful. I hate that thing. All right. So we're now in the kitchen, it's the kitchen sink. We're using um, the flow of water as an analogy. So imagine the water is the electricity um, and the flow of the water is the current. So here we go. Here's the tap running. Nice flow of electricity through a circuit. So say you put a resistor in there, yeah? You're basically, the higher the resistance, the more, oops, the other way, not that way, the other way. So you put a resistor in there, just to set so like a 10R, and then the flow of electricity will be just a little bit less the current flow will be a little bit less. Then you put kind of a big resistor, like a 1K, and then it'll reduce even more. And then say if you put, I don't know, a, a meg in, totally reduce it, like that. So imagine there's a resistor as a valve in a, in a tap, or a forestet, as some people say. Uh, and then, so, no resistor, no resistance, and then you put some resistance in. This reduces the flow of the current effectively. I'm gonna draw a little circuit now, back in the uh, studio, just to illustrate it one last time. This way. We're gonna do a little circuit here. So imagine you've got a nine volt battery here. So it's nine volts DC, you know, one of those ones you put in your um, smoke detectors. And then you've got an LED like this. So a red LED giving off some light. Say this LED is rated at 30 milliamps. If you just switch that on, the, pr the chances are that LED is going to blow because it's just going to suck up a loads of current because it's a very low resistance device anyway in LED and it's just going to blow. So if you want to reduce the flow of current to the LED, you need to put a resistor in. So generally you put one in the positive end here. Sorry, that's kind of not the best way of drawing a resistor. So by the way, the resistors are drawn like this, or like this. This one's more of an American style. 
So there's our resistor here. What value do you need? Oh, I don't know. Let's use Ohm's law. So V equals IR. So we know the voltage, we know the current. So R equals V over I. So V is nine. And then I is in the unit of volts. V is volts, obviously. And then it's amps for there. So milliamp is 0 0.30 milliamps is 0 0.03 amps. So if I had a calculator, 300R. So you put a 300R resistor in there, that will let, get the LED to light up, it won't blow up, you've restricted the flow to 30 milliamps to go to the LED at the bang. So that's what it does. Um, they're used a lot uh, and in audio, especially in audio. Um, there you go. Hope that kind of explains fundamentally what a resistor does. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.